to CBS Mornings. I'm Gail King. Coming up in this hour, Johnny Depp's attorney, her name is Camille Vasquez, tells us how she handled his high-profile defamation case and the fame that came with it. I'm Vladimir Dutit. From a long term in prison to running the Boston Marathon, David Begno's got the amazing story of a man determined to change course in life. I'm Nate Burleson. If you're headed to the beach and you don't know which books to bring, we've got you covered like sunblock. We'll share some of the best <laughs> beach reads of the season. We all need sunblock, right? <laughs> but first, here's today's eye opener at eight. President Biden's agenda gets a major boost as Senator Joe Manchin drops his opposition to a bill tackling inflation, climate change, and the cost of health care. This is a bill that truly is about putting the country on a sounder economic footing. The U.S. may be close to a prisoner swap with Russia, potentially exchanging Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan for the notorious global arms dealer, Victor Boot. We certainly hope that Russia will favorably engage on it. Breaking news, JetBlue is buying Spirit Airlines for nearly $4 billion. If the deal goes through, it would create America's fifth largest airline. Governor Gavin Newsom wants California to lead the climate fight by investing tens of billions in clean air technologies. There's one overriding powerful force on the planet. It's Mother Nature. And backlash is growing against Instagram for a new update that puts content from strangers in your feed. You can't do that, you know? Like the 12 disciples were followers of Jesus, right? They chose Jesus. Can you imagine if one day someone was just like, today's sermon will be delivered by Ja Rule. I'd be like, no, wait, wait, I wanted to hear from Jesus. Like, no, no, trust us, this will be better. Take it away, Ja Rule. Thou shalt always be there when thou calls. Thou shalt always be on time. Trevor nailed it. Trevor nailed it. You said you don't like the new that. feature. <laughs> I don't like the new feature. It's all of a sudden, there are these strangers that are appearing in your feet. So that was the joke, right? That yeah. if you're a follower of Jesus, you don't want Ja Rule to be delivering the sermon. They just <laughs> randomly put it in? Yes. Put in some of it? Yes. It's this new feature that people are very upset I also about. heard the other day that they're pl planning to go to mostly video or all video. I think they're trying to compete with TikTok. I don't TikTok. care, but I don't want them to yeah. do that either. Yeah. We need to call Adam Oster. <laughs> let's do that, Gail. <laughs> we need to call somebody. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's begin this hour, though, with the mystery over the disappearance of a Texas teen and a new documentary that aims to help solve the cold case. Caleb Deal didn't show up for school one morning in a small Texas town and has not been seen since. He was a high school senior at the time in 2015. Family friend Ricky Howard was named a person of interest in the disappearance, but was never charged for it. Caleb's case is covered in the new season of the hit documentary series, Never Seen Again, from our streaming service, Paramount Plus, which highlights missing person cases in hopes of getting answers. Take a look at this clip. I put together this notebook. All of the answers are right here, except where is Caleb? Where is Caleb Deal? Happy birthday. Just the month of March. I hate it because it's his birthday, and then two weeks after his 18th birthday, he disappeared. 